<laughs> it's cold. I woke up and looked east and the sky is on fire. And it's just a teeny little piece. Most of the cloud, most of the sky is really cloudy. I think we're in for some rain today, unfortunately. But the sunrise is cool. I'm trying to film this sunset and somebody keeps knocking my camera. I'm shaking it. Is it you? Is it you? Morning rainbow, oh my God. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. The sun just came up over the mountains and on the opposite side of the sky, there are two rainbows. It's a sunrise rainbow. Now that is a miracle. Oh my God, this is so cool. What a morning. Wow. <laughs> Wake up everybody. <laughs> it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it. We have moved our morning packing operation to under the trees because it started raining. <laughs> that sunrise and morning rainbow have been sucked away by the clouds. And I think we might be in for a a little bit of a rainy day. Oh, I see you're making the, the morning special. Yeah, that's right. Yep, the morning special. A little uh, jiff and tortilla. Mm. All right, we're heading out from the comfort of the trees into the drizzle. I don't love starting my day in the rain, but that's, that's what we got today. A little bit of rain. Woo! No crashies, whammies, flatties or severe rainstormies. Woo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, it's chilly. It is chilly. I gotta put the camera away and uh, try to stay warm. Bye. The cows don't like the rain either. It's not raining too hard right now, which is nice. It is still very cold, but I feel like I'm in Ireland. Yep, my bike is pretty muddy, that is for sure. And so are my legs. Yep, still raining, still cold. We're still biking forward, making progress. And I have great news, it's not raining. Yes, Woohoo! oh my gosh. The clouds started breaking and then the sun came out and it is so, so nice to not be soaking wet and cold. We're making good progress today. The roads have been pretty flat or even downhill. So that's real nice. We are aiming at a town called Pinedale today. We should be able to get there. And we need to get there because we are all low on food, big time. And I need to find a place with power to charge all of my camera batteries. There is a Mexican restaurant here and I'm so excited. I've been eating a lot of sweet stuff. I need some savory. Do you see this giant burrito? I've been dreaming about this. I've been eating a lot of junk food the last three days. 
This is the first real food I've had in a long time. Warm food. Yes! So happy. And there's a couple vegetables there too. Oh, John, that looks good. What'd you get, bud? Oh, I got a little uh, carne asada. And Kevin also got lots of beans. He's on the bean diet now. So Kevin and I decided to get a hotel and dry off and we're in the parking lot and this guy rides by on his bike and then he rides back and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And we start chatting and this guy, what's your name? I'm David, hi. David turns out to be an Outward Bound instructor. Yep. And Outward Bound is what got me into the great outdoors when I was 16 years old. Tell me a little bit about Outward Bound and what the, what the mission is. So we're trying to get kids out in the outdoors, do a little character building, I guess is what they used to call it. Um, but now we're kind of trying to have kids face challenge and failure and success. And from that, kind of learn more about themselves and uh, be better people from it. And that's exactly what happened to me when I was 16 years old. 23 days in Utah, awesome. rafting and canyoneering. And I even slept in snow and it was hard. It was yeah. at, at that point in my life, when I was 16 years old, that was the hardest thing I'd ever done. We hope, that's, that's, that's what we hope for, for those kids. Yeah, and really I came back. Thing. And I loved it so much, I came back and I, I slept in my mom's backyard the rest of the oh, summer because awesome. I wanted to be outside under the stars. That's so good. Yeah, so thank you for what you're doing, yeah, man. I really appreciate you. it. That's Outward so bound all the way. Awesome. Kevin, how are you feeling about this hotel choice? You think I, I love it. I mean, look, all this stuff is out drying, which it wouldn't be otherwise. I got to shower, clean everything. This is tough. This is harder than I thought, man. especially with the rain this morning. That The mountains yesterday, then the rain this morning double kicked my ass. But double kick my butt but yeah yeah no i'm excited I'm dude pumped. your spirit is wonderful though man you're doing it with a smile see that thing right there that's a yeah. smile he is a happy man john wants to be tough guy and camp out tonight but the sky really still does not look good and that was another factor of us getting a hotel we don't really want to get rained on all night again but i have a feeling john will be back he's gonna like peruse the area see if there's any camping close by and then he's gonna come back to the hotel <laughs> Another reason why hotels are very important is so I can charge all of these batteries and make the videos. These two are GoPro, that's my navigation device, the Wahoo, this is my power bank, these are my three drone batteries, and that's not everything. I still have to charge more. Also, this is another key one to charge. It's been running on empty for the past couple days, and when it hits my face, it's like... Alright, what's going on here, Kevin? Do some laundry. I'm gonna clean these because these are the clothes I'll change into. Then I'm gonna shower and clean all my other clothes. Hopefully by then these are dry. Ooh, that sky looks mean. So glad to have a hotel tonight. So John, why'd you decide not to camp tonight? Because <laughs> <laughs> Mira missed you, Ryan. Oh, that's uh, right, okay. that's right. There yeah. she is. Hi, Mira. I'm really glad you decided to come spend the night with me. You can sleep in my bed if John lets you. Yeah. What's happening over here now in the John bike shop? In the John bike shop, today we are replacing a spoke. And this happens, I got a 40 pound dog on the back, we're riding rough roads. And I've been riding this wheel since October on very many rough roads. So it's not surprising I have a broken spoke and the shop in town was really nice to uh, supply me. Mira, with get off me. <laughs> I'm doing an interview right now. <laughs> Anyway, John's, fi John's fixing a spoke. So I just went grocery shopping. This town actually has a real grocery store with pretty much everything you could ever want. A lot of the other towns we've been through have just tiny convenience stores with almost nothing. So here we go. And the reason why I'm buying a lot of food is because we're heading into an area without much happening. So I've got two cans of diced green chilies. We got two cans of beans, new can of peanut butter. Fish food is for tonight. Obviously, that's not going to last on the bike. Nutella, 20 tortillas. Got about 15 of these bars and some Snickers and nuts. That's about all I can hold on my bike. Morning, Kevin. Mm -hmm. You gotta have clean teeth to ride your bike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's my man John. We all slept well in the hotel last night. 
Hey, how you doing? Good, good. And everybody's happy, especially Mira. Yeah, hey, sweetheart. All systems check over here. Pretty near. We got a heavy load today. There yeah, we do. Lots of food. Yeah. We don't want to forget the heaviest load. 35 pounds of pure joy. Right? Right, Mira? Yeah. Oh, is this a stick you want me to throw? This Is this really what you want me to throw? That? That's a, that's a record. This is like a toothpick. Okay, here we go. Get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't see she was tied on. How's the packing going? Oh, you know, if, if it could just stick like that, it'd be great. <laughs> All right, let's do a dummy check. We're not leaving anything here. Three dummies, Jack. Under the bed. Haha, <laughs> good joke, John. John just said there are three dummies here. <laughs> we are leaving Pinedale after a wonderful stay. We are psyched, we are happy, our bellies are full. How you feeling this morning, Kevin? I feel like a million bucks. My butt is good, my legs are good, my tummy's full. I have no complaints, I'm ready to ride. Sunshine makes me happy. Yep, I'd say we have a tailwind. This is pretty smooth rolling so far. Nice way to start the day. And I've done enough bike tours to know that it can all change in five miles and then we have a headwind. So I'm enjoying this for right now. So the tailwinds were so strong, it blew me right back into my hometown of Boulder. Oh, thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe, what an adventure. Wait a second, that's Boulder, Wyoming. Only 170 people live here. I know they call this the Great Divide mountain bike route, but we sure have ridden a lot of pavement for this to be called a mountain bike route. They might need to change the name. There is some mountain biking, but very little. Mostly gravel riding and roads. The Great Divide bike ride <laughs> is what it should be called. I'd like to give a shout out to the steamroller guy right here. What's up? He is making this dirt road so smooth. Thank you, steamroller guy. Oh, look at Kevin goes so fast. He can't be stopped. Woo, he's got the yellow jersey. Yeah, buddy. You. Little Mira water stop. Mira's gotta get her water play. All right, Mira, let's go ride bikes. What do you say? Oh, one more stick? Okay, ready, ready, go! It is such a treat to stop in the middle of a bike tour and play with a dog. <laughs> How cool is this? Mira has endless energy. We humans, we get tired, but this dog just keeps on going and going and going and going. John, come on up. Come up to the rock. Come up to the lunch rock, Kevin. Lunch rock? Bring lunch up rock. Up Bring up your goodies. Look at this view! Remember this morning when I showed the clear sky and I was like, it's not gonna rain today, we're so psyched. Well, it might rain today because these clouds are looking pretty threatening. We're 
we're getting closer to the rain. It's gotten much cooler. You can tell that we are close. I can smell it. We may have gotten lucky. That way is bad news. This way could be bad news soon, but right now it's pretty good, but man, it is, it is beautiful. that Tom Petty song, Into the Great Wide Open. That's how today has felt. It is the Great Wide Open. And even though I live in the West, I sometimes forget how just expansive the West is. It makes me feel really tiny out here. It's so big. I'm just a little itty bitty speck along with all the little cows. <laughs> like Superman with your cape on. So the rain finally caught us today. We thought we were being pretty sneaky, but uh, no, this is a big wide open area and there's lots of isolated storms and yeah, one of them's right on top of us. These guys rolled up real slow and said, hey, you need some water? And we said, yeah, we'll take some water. We always want water. It's a good thing out here. And actually, once we go further into Wyoming, water is gonna become harder and harder to get. It's not like Montana where there's a stream every 50 yards. It's gonna be more of a challenge to, to get water. So these guys are really hooking us up. Bye-bye, new friends. Travis and Sam. Travis and so Sam. Nice. Wasn't that cool? That was so nice. All right, we have ridden 71 miles today and we are at a highway rest stop with picnic tables and shelter and the sky still looks very threatening. So we're gonna hang out here. I talked to the caretaker and she said we can camp right behind. So we're set for the night. Aren't you happy, Mira? Aren't you happy? Yes, you're so happy. Kevin, how you feeling? We rode 70 miles. That's the most miles I've ever done bike packing. Yeah. The most miles possibly I've ever done on a bike in a single day. And I feel like a million bucks. Don't ask me to sit on anything, but I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> Very good. Whoa! I am so glad we have this shelter. If we were out there right now, we would be getting demolished by this rain and hail. so happy and it's just such a great feeling to be somewhere safe at night these people are super cool the caretakers of the rest stop they're letting us use their power and uh, you know they said that the racers from the tour divide come through every year and he's like that is just crazy and so John made a good point we got to thank all of the riders who come through here and are polite and nice so this guy here obviously takes care of us. Here it is, the famous Van Duzer Sunset 
burrito. Cheers, John. Oh, yeah. Good work today. Bam. Yeah, likewise. Cheers, Kevin. Look at that beautiful sunset. It's even more beautiful after a rainy day. My dudes, high five. Yeah, Great day. Good work out there. <laughs> Kevin, you're doing awesome, man. You said this is the longest bike tour of your life now? The longest bike ride today, yeah. And it's the longest bike packing trip and the highest elevation and the yada, yada, yada. Yeah. All the above, longest, biggest, highest of everything. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do it again. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna do it again in the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And the next day.